Tony Sartori and I've been researching near-death experiences for the last 23 years and I'm really fascinated by how these experiences transform people's lives. This is my co-author Kelly Walsh who's had an experience. Yeah, I had my experience in 2009 uh, following a suicide attempt. It's completely transformed my life. Following my experience, I shouted out that like-minded souls would collaborate to change the world. And I knew one day I'd be sharing my story in collaboration with others. We hope you enjoy reading the transformative power of near-death experiences. We believe it has the power in its pages to open hearts, minds and souls to the power of divine love. Every single penny from our amazing book will go towards supporting projects aimed at making a positive difference in children's lives via the work of our foundation. Hello, my name is Neil Donald Walsh. You know, reading this wonderful manuscript ignited in me a desire to help Penny and Kelly get their message out to a wider audience. For my wish is that many others might come to know through the stories in this book what I had already come to know and embrace as real through my own experience, and what all the people in this book know to be real too, through their own amazing experiences. The transformative power of near-death experiences can do more to release humanity from its fear of dying than any book in recent memory. I highly recommend it. Hi there, my name is Anita Morjani, and 11 years ago, I had a near-death experience, or an NDE, and it completely transformed my life. At that time, I had to figure out how to integrate back into the world after such an experience, because it changed me to the core. I'm here today, though, to congratulate Penny Sartori and Kelly Walsh for the launch of their very important new book called The Transformative Power of near-death experiences. I wish that book was around when I had my own experience because it's a very informative book and I truly believe that books like this and our understanding of NDEs can actually transform the world. So I highly recommend you read it and it's not just for people who've had NDEs, in fact it's for everyone else who hasn't had one, and you don't need to have one to understand it, which is why I highly recommend this book, and so please check it out. Thank you, bye. I'm Evan Alexander, MD, author of Proof of Heaven, The Map of Heaven, and Living in a Mindful Universe, and one of the most amazing books about the transformative power of near-death experiences has recently come out uh, by Penny Sartori and Kelly Walsh. And I highly recommend this book. It's an extraordinary uh, adventure story uh, linking multiple uh, individual accounts of NDEs and the very powerful uh, life-transforming tra life uh, uh, energy that comes from these kind of experiences. And Penny and Kelly have done a wonderful job of assembling these cases with very thoughtful analysis and review that helps to teach all of us that NDEs are the tip of the sphere leading to a transformation in this world and a growth in the understanding of the nature of consciousness that will truly make this a far more peaceful and harmonious world. So congratulations to Kelly and to Penny for a beautiful and world-changing book. Hi there. My name is Jeff Olson, and I'm proud to be a contributor to this amazing book. My near-death experience was 20 years ago and was the result of a horrific automobile accident that also took the lives of my wife and youngest son. What I've learned? I've learned that love is the most powerful force in the universe. And yes, we do have angels. And I've learned that every day is a gift. You don't always get tomorrow. Please read The Transformative Power of Near-Death Experiences. Thank you. Hi, my name's Mick Collins and I'm from Norwich in the UK. I wrote the foreword for the book and I gave it the title, A Love Letter from God. I gave it this title because the people who share their stories in the book have met the divine and they've all come back with a message that's relevant for all of us in these troubled times. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I did. It really is a transformative read. Thank you. Hey, Dave Bennett here. I currently live in Virginia Beach, Virginia, but in 1983, I drowned in a storm off the California coast in 25-foot seas that resulted in my near-death experience. 
The experience changed my life. It showed me that when we die, we don't really die. And that there's so much love available for us. And I never knew how much I was loved until my experience. I was also shown how important it is to live this life with heart-centered awareness so that we may be of service on this earth. We can compassionately help our fellow man with the gifts that each and every one of us already have. My name is Diane Goble. In my 76 years, I've lived all over the United States and currently live in Central Oregon. 45 years ago, I drowned while whitewater river rafting and had an extensive near-death experience that taught me that consciousness survives physical death. And my life's work became helping others overcome their fears of death and dying. Hi, my name's Catherine Baldwin-Thompson, and I had my first near-death experience when I was three. I learned that we are the universe and love really is the key. The second, I learned that we hold all of the locks, and if we love ourselves and each other enough, we can create heaven on earth. Hi, my name is Barbara Ireland. I am from Seattle, Washington. My near-death experience came from extreme physical overexertion, which led to heat stroke and hyponatremia, which is when your body loses too much sodium. And I had a four hour life review. And during that time, I found out that we have negative unconscious thoughts that are going over and over in our heads. And they are causing depression, low self-esteem, um, stress. And they're stopping us from living this greatly juicy life of confidence and peace and happiness. And so I found out how to interrupt these negative mind loops and literally reprogram my brain and my life is completely different, beautiful, took off like crazy, and I'm so happy to be sharing this information now with others. This is Dr. Barbara Mango. I live in Connecticut in the United States. The most profound experience I've ever had is when I flew down to Florida in 2016 to be at my father's side while he lay dying of pancreatic cancer. He shared a series of what we call nearing death awareness or a series of profound spiritual experiences. Before this, he was a complete atheist. And as I sat by his side and we shared and we talked and we loved and we bonded, he realized there was another side, another consciousness, and that life continues after death. And it was both a beautiful and healing experience for us both. I'm Penny Wilson, one of the contributing authors to the upcoming book, The Transformative Power of Near-Death Experiences by Dr. Penny Sartori and Kelly Walsh. Three years ago, I had an allergic reaction, stopped breathing, and that's when I had my near-death experience. I hope you enjoy my story along with many others included in the book. Hi, I'm Sue Stone, CEO of the Sue Stone Foundation, motivational speaker, author, and TV personality. I'm delighted and privileged and honored to have written the preface for this amazing book. Some years ago, my life hit absolute rock bottom, uh, financially and emotionally, and I thought I was gonna be homeless and desperate with my three young children. But that was my wake up call. That was when I started on my journey of self-discovery and to understand the bigger picture. And it was just a few years after that, I had an NDE, um, although I tend to call it, as I saw it at the time, more of an out of body experience. But the most significant thing that happened following that is that I started to channel ancient wisdom. I channeled spiritual guidance, um, which I'd never done before and had no awareness. Um, and it's been huge in helping me um, in my own evolution and, and in helping others. But I'm privileged and delighted to have been able to contribute to this fantastic book. Hi, my name's Shelley. In 2009, I had a near-death experience. I was diagnosed with cancer and I was given five weeks to live. Five weeks after that diagnosis, I became very seriously ill and had a dream where I was told firstly that I would make a full recovery and survive the cancer, but I was also told that my fiancé and partner of 23 years would be killed the following day in a helicopter crash. I was told this by God and I was told the reason he would be dying and why, where and when. 
and everything came true the following day and he was killed. But I was also promised that I would always be able to see him and I'd be able to talk to him whenever I wanted to and dream about him. The experience completely changed my life and I now know without any shadow of a doubt that there's way more to life than just what we see and there is a heaven. We can talk to our loved ones who have died because they don't ever really die, they're always with us and we can talk to them at any time. And effectively we are all one and we are together and we can just all be together and connected whenever we want to be. So thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Gigi. After my near-death experience in 2011, I really struggled with finding my place in the world and also come to terms with and understanding what I had experienced on the other side. My attitudes to everything changed so much from jobs, careers, money, sex, politics, religion, faith, consciousness, even to time, space and our place in this world. I looked everywhere for support and for people who had had experiences like me and I I couldn't find it so I decided to set up NDE UK to help people like myself and possibly you find their own place in this world and help them with their take two. Hi I'm Erica McKenzie I'm from the United States. 15 years ago I had a near-death experience. My near-death experience was caused from a chronic abuse of diet pills. There's so many things I learned during that experience, but one thing I want to share with you is the lesson that each and every one of us is so valuable. We're so valuable because this is Earth School and we're here to learn. Our uniqueness is our value. And our value, that's our contribution here on our earthly journey. When we learn to love ourselves, and then we can come together and we empower and embrace each other, Working together as a collective, that's when we're going to change things. And that's why I am so excited to be a part of this book project, The Transformative Power of Near-Death Experiences. Get your copy today. Hello, this is Ainsley Threadgold. And this is Krista Gorman. And we're here as part of the Transformative Power of Near-Death Experiences book. We have our own individual chapters and we have our own special dedicated chapter which uh, talks about the love that we found in each other. Yes, following our near-death experiences, we both went on journeys of basically self-discovery and both coming to the same conclusion. And um, love is really what it's all about. And that's why we're here, is to learn to love ourselves so that we can authentically love other people. Yeah, I want to reflect that. Um, love is the answer. Um, I would imagine in every near-death experience, uh, people have um, seen that we are all love. Uh, but to be that love, we've had to learn how to love ourselves here. Mm -hmm. And the love that we share is a product of the love that we learnt about in our near-death experience and the love that we have here. So we hope you enjoy reading it. Uh, we both love you all, and we hope to see you soon. I'm Paul from Texas. I'm 56 years old and uh, had my first of three NDEs in 2002 in the mountains of New Mexico where I went into a coma from a pulmonary embolism. Um, most of my life I've been an atheist. Uh, when I came out of the coma in the hospital, the first words I said were, God was punishing me for my sins. At that time, I knew God's been with me all the time. What I brought back from all of this is that God is real, and I was wrong. And it's so liberating to know that. There's love everywhere, and I plan on doing what was told for me to do, and that is to spread the word and do good in this world all we can. Hello, my name is Robert M. Tremblay. I'm the author of the book 20 Seconds, A True Account of Survival and Hope. I became involved in this grassroots campaign, the Positivity Power Movement, three years ago, when it was nothing more than a belief and a dream. I've watched it grow daily to this movement that it now is. My near-death experience happened almost seven years ago and it changed everything about who I am, what I do, 
in how I look at the world. I was proud and honored to contribute a chapter to this book with so many beautiful souls. I absolutely know for certain the impact of this book and the ripples it creates will continue to grow and grow. I hope you join us here on the power, the positivity power movement. I hope you join us in reading the book, The Transformative Power of Near-Death Experiences, and how the messages of the NDE are positively changing the world. We hope you join us. We hope you enjoy it. I guarantee you this. It will change the way you look at death, the way you look at life, and how you enjoy it every single minute. Is in the sea. 